Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerky, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play Family Inheritance featuring the Montgomery household. So right now we are staring at the outside of their house. Let's go ahead and go on in. We will meet the family and then do an official house tour and of course explain the goals of this Let's Play and all that fun stuff. So <laughs> right now, let's get right into meeting the family. So we are going to start with Abigail, the mother, the matriarch of this family, and she is currently uh, leaving. <laughs> no, she's not really leaving. She's just walking away. I am going to go ahead and pause like once I actually get to one of the members that I'm going to talk about. That way they don't try to wander or run away. <laughs> so anyways, this is Abigail. I'm sorry. We have kind of an upskirt shot over here. <laughs> so let's do a side view instead. Well, maybe... I mean, you can't really see anything, but there you go. There's a nice close-up of her intense face as she's playing with the lump of clay. I know, so exciting, right? <laughs> but anyways, Abigail, let's go right into her, her, um, what are these called? Oh my gosh, my mind's going blank. <laughs> her traits. So Abigail is creative, which probably explains why she's playing with that lump of clay. She's feeling uh, quite inspired to do so. She is also cheerful and a music lover and a muser. So let's go ahead and tell you like exactly what these are. So creative means the Sims ten this Sim tends to be inspired, can share creative ideas with other Sims, and may become upset if they're not creative for a period of time cheerful, of course. You know, they tend to be happier than other sims. Music lover means they gain powerful moodlets and boost their fun need while listening to music and become happy while playing instruments. And a muser is, let's see, it's from choosing a cre creativity aspiration. They get better boost to their skills when they're inspired. So that leads me to our aspiration. Abigail wants to be a painter extraordinaire. So her goals are to start three paintings while inspired and paint for five hours. That, that doesn't seem too hard. Um, she's currently unemployed because we are obviously just starting this Let's, this let's Play. Um, she's not really going to have any skills or anything, but she is married. So let's go ahead and meet her husband, Adam. And we might not be able to get a good shot of him because he is kind of hiding here behind the computer. But oh, wait, that seems like a decent one. There we go. He looks very evil. Um, <laughs> I think it's safe to say he's not going to get up from this computer anytime soon. So let's go right into his traits. Now, Adam, he, he is active, which these Sims tend to be energized, can pump up other Sims, and may become upset if they don't exercise for a period of time. He also loves the outdoors, which means he can enthuse about nature to other Sims and become happy when outdoors. He's also a goofball, a bit of a goofball here. They tend to be playful and he's a collector, which means he can easily find rare collectibles more often, which I'm so excited to do because that's something I've never really explored before. Now his aspiration is to be an outdoor enthusiast. So that means he's going to need 10 unidentified plants harvested and he needs to catch five fish in granite falls again doesn't seem too hard but that should be fun to do uh he is also unemployed so we will have to work on finding them jobs and their eldest daughter is olivia and wow they're all on the computer huh um let's see if i can get a shot of her <laughs> There we go. Whoa, that's a close up. But anyways, this is Olivia. She is the eldest daughter. She is a teen. She is cheerful, an insider, which means she loves being in clubs and tends to be happiest when surrounded by their friends. And she's regard ah, gregarious. <laughs> that means they build friend friendly relationships faster. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk at all. Um, her aspiration is to be the friend of the world, which means she needs three friends, which I don't know how she has that already. Maybe she met them at school. I don't know. Uh, I, I literally played for like two minutes. <laughs> uh, and she needs to introduce herself to 10 Sims. So again, that shouldn't be too hard. These aspirations seem quite doable. And next we have our twins. We have boy and girl twins. This is Corey giving her dad a hug. Corey's a bit of a tomboy. And her only trait right now is active. We already explained what that meant. And her twin brother is Evan. There he is. <laughs> Evan is a bookworm. All right. So that is pretty much the basic introduction to the family. And well, I mean, I know 
I don't even know what a bookworm is, but let's just for the sake of it, read this. Um, this sim gains powerful movements from analyzing books and can discuss books in unique ways. So there you have it. That's the Montgomery family. And let's go back to Abigail, wherever she's wandered off to. Whoops. You know what? Maybe we should get these walls down. That might be a little bit more helpful. <laughs> Abby, where did she go? There she is. She's sitting in her room. So uh, I'll quickly explain what this Let's Play is about, and then we'll do our official house tour. But basically, um, Abigail, I made, I was getting ready to do another Let's Play for Alice in Wonderland, which I'm still going to do, but that's going to be on The Sims 3 instead, I decided. Um, but I did first create Alice in The Sims 4, and this is what I came up with. And although, I don't know, I guess she has some resemblance to Alice from Alice in Wonderland, but it just wasn't, it wasn't working for me. And I figured I would try making her in The Sims 3 too. And of course, she ended up looking way more like I envisioned Alice looking as an adult. Just a quick backstory. So that's why, um, I don't know. That's why you might think maybe she looks a little bit like her, but she, uh, I decided to just keep her clothes and keep everything the same because I thought she ended up turning out really pretty and I love the outfit. She wears a lot of like blues and whites and, and such like Alice in Wonderland. So just try to ignore that fact if it bothers you, you know, we, we might give her a makeover later, but I, I already made her and I thought she was cute. So I decided to just do a let's play with her and the rest of the family was pretty much just randomly generated. I know I don't like doing that too often, but, uh, once I, I came across a few Sims, I totally fell in love with them and I played with the genetics a bit to make the twins and I just think they're a really cute family now obviously Abigail has blonde hair so she's kind of uh <laughs> she's kind of all about out but we can we can maybe assume she dies that that might be a bleach job <laughs> and Abby has blue eyes and all the kids and her husband all have green eyes yeah very, very beautiful eyes. Um, so anyways, the Let's Play is called Family Inheritance. And you might be wondering, what's up with that? Well, you might also be wondering why they have so much money. Um, basically, actually, I need to change that. Um, they have more money in savings that I need to move over to the household funds. I know that's not a thing, but that's what we're going to go with for right now. Uh, but basically, Abigail's parents were rich. I mean, drop dead, filthy rich. I don't want to say, oh, that's a very bad choice of words because drop dead, <laughs> because unfortunately they've passed away. Both of her parents passed away. She was the only child and they left her a large family inheritance of $500,000 plus the house that they live in. So Abby and Adam are pretty much set for a while. I don't think they're set for life. Maybe. I don't know. How far does 500,000 simoleons stretch in The Sims? I guess we'll find out. Um, but <laughs> they were they were blessed with this beautiful house and that beautiful life savings. So they're not in a hurry to find jobs. You know, they might they might work just just to pass the time and keep themselves inspired. Or we might have them actually invest in some businesses. So if you guys want to see that, drop some comments below and let me know. Maybe they should open a restaurant. Maybe they should flip houses. I don't know. I don't know what the options in Sims 4 really are, but we, we can figure that out. So let me know what you think they should do with their spare time since they actually don't have to work or find work immediately. They'd rather do something that they really, really enjoy and not worry about money too much. So that's pretty much their backstory. I'm sure we'll delve into some other secrets and drama and such as things unfold. But for right now, that's all you need to know. Family inheritance, Abby's parents totally left her nice and well off and her family taken care of. And what did she make with that lump of clay? It looks like we've got a little flower or something. Um, <laughs> it's cute. I like it. Not bad. Not bad at all. And Corey's over here playing with her little action figure. Oh, so cute. She she is a lot of fun. Um, and then let's just check in on everybody else. This is a, I can already tell this is a family of gamers. Like they've been at their computers pretty much nonstop. So, <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I, I'm the same way, right? I love to game. I love to play The Sims. It is my life. So I cannot, I cannot be mad on them for doing the same. <laughs> All right. And let's just peek in on Evan wherever he went. Yep. <laughs> they're all playing games. Yep. He's in mom and dad's room. So that brings us to the house tour, guys. Let's go ahead and get right into the house tour. We will go back outside for a second just so we can start off 
I mean, you, you pretty much saw the house as I was switching around and such, but we'll do an official tour here. Let's go ahead and pause. It is getting dark. I don't want it to get too super dark while we do this. Let's get all of our walls up. Oops. All right. So you saw the front of the house when we first started. Uh, it's dark now, but you did. Um, I think you got the gist of it. We do have some lights around the house, lots of pretty landscaping. And of course, this is the first home that I have built in The Sims 4. And I didn't do a speed build. I probably should have, but I literally built it like over time. I really, really took my time with this and just worked on it when I was inspired. And I really love the way it came out. So instead of a speed build, we have this beautiful house tour here. And this side, um, just a little bit of landscaping. There is a fountain. I'll hit play for a second so you can see you can see that. I have a tiny little driveway for a second. I completely forgot that there are no cars in Sims 4. So this is actually a toy car scaled up. Um, I, I guess I really didn't need to add more cars or more parking spots since they don't really actually use them. Uh, so I decided to just add this cute little garden over here instead. Um, over on this side, man, it's so dark. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I should have done this in the daylight. Um, actually, let's, let's go into build mode and change it to afternoon. Oh gosh, much better. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Anyways, back over here to the garden area. Yeah, beautiful fountain. We've got some plants hanging off of here, some bushes, and then of course the, the two benches so they could sit out here and relax. Uh, oh, let me show you the car in the light too because you know, that was super dark. <laughs> There you go. There's a little car. Well, the <laughs> the big size car. And then over on the side, which probably would have been the garage or the driveway, ended up being just, you know, more of a more of a garden. We've got some um, little plants, bushes, topiaries, flowers, and we've got our llama over here. He has to be in every build, I think, right? He's too cute not to be. <laughs> and a couple of lush trees. Now around to the back more landscaping here. This is a beautiful backyard and I'm really proud of it. I love this pool. The pools look so lifelike in The Sims 4. The water looks amazing. I'm really impressed with that. Um, and then off to the side is our little table and chairs here. The whole backyard is sort of lined with these bushes so it's sort of closed off. Um, yeah, Let's see. That's not really a fence. It's just a fence I made out of bushes, I guess. <laughs> and back here, um, a couple of lights, a couple of flowers. We have a little bit more greenery over here. And then this is such a cozy little spot that I would totally have in my backyard if I owned a house. Uh, we've just got some beautiful lawn furniture, not lawn furniture. Well, yeah, I guess outdoor patio furniture. Uh, we've got the bonfire, a little bit of hot chocolate and some pastries out here and our cute little bird feeder. I'm very excited to see birds use this. Hopefully, but we'll get to soon. And I think that's it for the outside. So let's go back around to the front and we'll go through the front door and do an official tour now. Uh, I'm going to leave it in build mode just so that we can have this beautiful lighting. And you are immediately greeted with a fireplace. And a little bench right here in the entryway. Um, I also think this is a good place to add stairs if we're going to add a second floor as the family grows. So this fireplace might, might not be here permanently, but for now, here it is. Um, we've got a couple little plants here in the entryway. Actually, maybe I should get out of build mode. Okay, I think it's bright enough. It's bright enough to do our tour here. So let's see. Um, we'll go ahead and let the family run around now. <laughs> we'll hit play. I won't hold them hostage. <laughs> um, next in the living room, we have a couple of couches, chairs, a little console table, which I think is actually a dresser. I always use those as console tables. And of course, a nice large TV over on the side. There's another little seating area with a picture of whatever you want it to be, I guess. I don't know if this is actually usable or if it's just an object, so we'll pretend there's like some fresh cucumber water in there right now. Um, over here is just sort of the entryway into the bar area and kitchen area. So when we come through here, we immediately have the bar with some beautiful lime green stools. We have some lemons and lime sitting on the counter as well. And then over on this side, this is our official formal dining room. It's not actually separated out as a separate room. Uh, sort of have like this open floor plan going on down here, which is really nice. And that takes us into the nice large kitchen. I mean, this might be one of the largest kitchens I've ever built, but it's so, I think it's very pretty. I really like it. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Um, I was really upset at first because without the color wheel, you know, you, you can't really match things perfectly. But I think 
I think that's good because it's not too matchy-matchy. It just flows very well. So there is this large counter area with all the bar stools, all of our basic necessities, microwave, um, popcorn popper, I think that is over here. And then, oops, over on this side is uh, the eat-in area of the kitchen. So although we have that formal dining room, uh, dining area, not its own room, <laughs> we also have a little eating area over here as well. And then just some extra cabinets and storage and decorations on top as well. I believe these are like pickled peppers and I say that three times, uh, and pickled, I don't know what olives, <laughs> olives are already pickled, I guess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I hope you know what I'm saying. I'm just ran randomly mumbling right now, but, <laughs> um, here is Olivia at the table doing her homework. Such a good girl. All right. So next, I guess the bedrooms are next, right? We'll start with the kids' bedrooms since we're right over here. And this is a nice large bedroom for both of the kids. Um, we have the two single beds and they each have two side tables, which is kind of cool. Um, let's get our walls. There we go. Um, yeah, plenty of storage, plenty of spaces for books and toys and knickknacks and little things. Uh, I love this. It's like a little anatomic model. So cute. Um, lots of little toys and things around, bright, colorful patterns. And then, well, actually, I guess we do need the wall, do wall up over here, don't we? Um, whoops. There we go. <laughs> Look at all that. <laughs> the kids have so many decorations. Like, how could I not use them all? <laughs> I had to. I absolutely had to. So we have two computer desks. They each have their own computer. I know they're just kids, but you know what? They're they're very well-behaved children, so they are allowed to have a laptop or a computer in their room so that they can do homework, play games, chat with friends. They're pretty responsible, so we allow them to have those. Uh, we also have a bulletin board here and a bookcase and an extra little dresser, so that is the children's room. Um, they do share, of course, and maybe as they get older, we can either split this off as two rooms or, as I said we can kind of expand the upstairs uh, as part of the home right now it's it's nothing so well, let's go on over through the living room and through the hallway now we've got a few rooms over here um to the right we have sort of the shared bathroom this is the one that like all of the kids share and can I go into camera mode there we go well, that's kind of a weird angle but let's go into Ariel <laughs> There we are. So we have our kitchen, kitchen, bathroom counters. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm really messing up here. Kitchen, bathroom. Oh gosh. Talk, Stephanie. Talk. Our bathroom counters. Technically they're kitchen counters. That's why I'm getting confused. Uh, lots of clutter around here. We have a tub and shower combo, laundry basket, of course, standard toilet, just a few decorations. Just a, there's a cute little bathroom here. Everything you need. And then let's go back through the hallway so you can see exactly where I'm going here. Um, to the right, we have the teenage daughter's room. The, this is uh, Olivia's room. And I originally made this room for a boy, but then when I decided to put Olivia in here, I just changed the colors up a little bit. It's still sort of like kind of outdoorsy, which is which is pretty cool. Lots of plants and and greenery in here. I don't know if it's exactly Olivia's style. Maybe she'll She'll work on improving it here and there, but um, she has a little computer desk back here, a bookshelf, and then she also has her own little seating area in case she wants to have her friends over, um, dresser over on this side. But yeah, this is, this is Olivia's room. Could definitely use some work, but you know, everything's kind of a work in progress. I know I'm, I'm always changing up my room and the decorations and furniture, so I'm sure Olivia, as she gets older and her taste changes, she will definitely, definitely change that as well. Um, and then through the hallway, this other set of double doors goes into mom and dad's room. And this was the first room I built for this house. I built the house around this room. And since I love colors, I definitely played with colors in this room. Um, we have mom and dad's double bed, the nightstand. Um, we have the computer area over here, a bookshelf. And then they have a really cute seating area 
Oh my gosh, these butterfly lights are my favorite. I, I would put them in every room if it wasn't completely and utterly annoying. <laughs> um, they also have their little dressing area over here, his and hers cabinets, nice standing mirror, and yeah, this this little couch here. I love the colors on the couch and I love the colors in the plum bob art. It just, I don't know, I think they go very very nicely together. And then, um, although we had that shared bathroom in the hall, mom and dad do have their own little master retreat back here. So through this door is mom and dad's bathroom. And again, I'm going to go into aerial mode just because it's kind of long and narrow and hard to see, but they have, um, just one sink. That's enough for the two of them. We've got a little bit of clutter up here, a laundry basket. Uh, they have their toilet, some little, folded clothes, a bathrobe, etc., and a tub shower combo as well. It's pretty similar to the other bathroom, although I think this one might have a little bit more clutter in here, but you know, Abigail loves to look beautiful, so she needs all of her makeup and beauty products, of course. And that is it for the house tour. So let's go ahead and zoom back in and see, see what everyone's up to. Whoa, the whole family's gathered out here. <laughs> They're just chatting away, talking about their day. Like, they really look like a family. Like, you could tell. She, Corey especially, looks so much like her dad. They really, really look alike. <laughs> All right. And here's Abigail playing with her lump of clay again. I have a feeling she's going to be playing with that a lot. But yeah, that is the introduction to our family and the house tour. This is just an introduction video, so we won't really do any gameplay. We'll save that for the next episode. Um, and, you know, this isn't there's not really a challenge or anything like that. It's just some fun gameplay for me to really get acclimated with playing The Sims 4, finding out everything it has to offer. Um, because as I touched on earlier, this is my, my first... My first house, my first family, my first real dive into The Sims 4. Um, I have I have created another family with some friends of mine. Uh, those videos are uploaded on the channel, so you can watch those as well. But that was more just kind of like the first, first look into the game. I really had no idea what I was doing at this point. I still don't really know what I'm doing in terms of, of gameplay and what types of things there are to do. So we'll kind of discover that together. But I am more comfortable with navigating through the game, building houses and things like that. So this is, um, as I said, my first, my first real experience playing with a Sims family. And this should be a lot of fun, guys. I'm so excited. So excited to get into this. I hope you guys are excited too. And I will go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe so that you can keep up with the videos and see what the Montgomery household is up to next time. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.